how to edit sounds for a movie. Open Garage Band. And right now it's going to say, and this is a newer version, so I can just say create whatever. I'm going to create, uh, I'll go like that. So software instrument. And the point is that I've got a basic setup and I'm going to be dragging and dropping in my material. Now these four buttons at the very top here, I like to, if they're minimized, meaning they're lighter gray, then you've got your basic screen. And I'm gonna close this, I don't need the keyboard. And I'm going to, let's see if I grab the corner of this properly, I can shrink this down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go like that so I can access the desktop and the files that I have. Now first thing I wanna do is I want to drag the video clip into the timeline. And what it's gonna do is automatically open up the movie track and I can see the movie clip up here. Now, if I move the timeline along here, I can see the video play here. And this screen can go anywhere, and I can also resize this window anytime I want. Um, if I want to have more space or move this down here so I can see it simultaneously. This track is going to, wait, I don't need it, so I'm just going to delete it. And you can do that by right clicking on any of the track areas in, the, in this section. Uh, you can do that. What I'm going to do is I want. Uh, the video to be here so I can see it. I don't need the audio, so I'm just gonna hit delete after I click on it, and it's gone. And you see these right here, that means that the microphone is actually hearing my voice right now in GarageBand, and that's fine, I don't, I don't care about that. What I wanna do is drag my sound clips into the timeline and arrange them. I'm going to grab a sound clip, and notice how I dragged it down in the open area here, and it automatically creates the right track that it needs for the sound to be played. And I don't need this whole chunk, in fact, one of these sound waves is all I'm going to need. So what I'll do is I'll set, if I click right okay. here underneath the numbers to place uh, this right here. I do command, I type command T, it does a cut. And so I click here, I delete that, and I'm going to go right here, and command T, and whoops, I have to select it, command T, and then cut again, and I can say, okay, now this is my sound effect. I can zoom in if I want to get more precise. I can go in here and I can cut even more. Command T, and this is what you want to do, is spend your time being really precise. And, oops, and click here again, Command T, click on it, delete. And so I'm, I'm stitching my sound effects in, and they can all be on the same line. So for instance, if I go here and I click on the train sound, I can put that in here. Now if the train sound's gonna be happening simultaneously, as well as other things, then maybe I want this on its own track. I could, when I import it in, uh, I think it's just the easiest way to do this. I take this, well, here, let's take the train sound, and drag it down here onto a new track. So this might be running underneath these sounds here. You can have as many tracks as you want. And when I play, they're all going to be playing simultaneously if they're lined up like this. Otherwise, I'll just have train sound, then I'll have this plus the train sound, and so on and so forth. And uh, as you know, when I scrub, or as you're seeing as I scrub, you can see the video is moving. This is essentially it. Command T to cut and zoom in and out here to get the material the way you want. And when we're all ready to export, we're going to go to File, Movie, and Export Audio to Movie. And what that's going to do is save the file, again, the, the whole video movie clip, with the new audio as a part of it. And I usually just put it on desktop and then I save it. Uh, that is the really basic way to do sound effects and sound within GarageBand. Uh, I'm going to show you one more thing in case you wanted to do this, and not for the particular sound effects project, but if you make a new track right here, there are a number of different options you can do, and the software instrument is where you can play the keyboard. And if I go to view, I can click on, uh, oh, notepad, that's where I can write notes. I didn't mean to open that up, so I'll close these down. Oops. Oh, oh, look at me go crazy here. Uh, and I'll close that out. What I meant to do is I say, oh, here's my electronics track. If I go to view and I'm looking for the keyboard, uh, there we go, show keyboard. I can play notes and if I want to then get new instruments down here, this is where I enter into what GarageBand has built in to create other musical elements. And you can change the instruments to whatever you want. Um, and that is an option, of course, GarageBand is known for this. We're not doing it for the sound effects uh, piece, but if you did want to have music in your, your film, that's how you would do that. Thanks for watching.